Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and this is the new Mi Band. This is the old Mi Band and they look a lot alike because they are. Okay, so the intro was slightly misleading. They're not exactly the same. The new Mi Band has an optical heart rate sensor built in, which makes it quite possibly the cheapest fitness tracker with an optical heart rate sensor in the world. Now I've done a review on the original Mi Band and you can click the link in the description or you can also click the link on screen now. But this band actually for being a 15 to $30 fitness tracker was pretty good. So the new Mi Band, although also cheap, about 20 to $30 with shipping and handling, it's still quite a capable fitness tracker. It can track your all day calories, your all day steps, your all day distance. It can even track your sleep. Now keep in mind that this is still, even with the optical heart rate monitor on it, it's still a bare bones fitness tracker. It's not really meant to track serious exercise. It's meant to keep kind of a pace on how many steps you've walked, how many calories, maybe your sleep. It's just meant to be a very, very basic fitness tracker. It's not meant to do what most of the more expensive fitness trackers can accomplish. Now with that being said, the optical heart rate sensor on here does seem to take accurate readings, but only in specific contexts. Now one of the things that you need to be very clear on is this optical heart rate monitor is not going to track you during exercise. There's no way to turn on an exercise mode and have it manually take heart rate readings while you're working out. So the heart rate monitor is not for exercise. It's actually for your resting heart rate and also to help track sleep. It will not track your heart rate in any other given context. You can take manual readings throughout the day, but it's not gonna take automatic readings throughout the day. That's something you're gonna to have to manually do. So it's a very limited product in terms of what the optical heart rate sensor is designed to do. It's basically just designed to help you track sleep and your resting heart rate. Now, just like the previous Mi Band, this Mi Band has the exact same strap as from what I can tell. Uh, and it also comes with just this little tiny pod that's inside. This little pod snaps into a charger, which I haven't even had to use yet. It came with a pretty much full charge and I've been using it now for about a month. And I still haven't had to charge it yet. You'll probably get anywhere from one to three months worth of battery life depending on how often you use the optical heart rate monitor. Now to be very clear, this new Mi Band is not designed for any sort of CrossFit exercising, strength training, weightlifting, any of those sorts of exercise. This will not track those movements. This is designed specifically mostly just for walking and then a little bit of jogging. It will track running, but that's it. That's the only sort of activity metric that it will track is walking and jogging. Anything else is gonna be too much for it to track. It's not really designed to track those activities. Now with that being said, it does automatically track your walking and jogging completely automatically. And it did a fairly good job tracking both my step counts and my distance. Now keep in mind, the Mi Band does not have onboard GPS. It tracks the distance through its onboard accelerometer. And it did a pretty good job. I compared it against the accelerometer on my Microsoft Band, which is fairly accurate. And look at the results. So the Mi Band recorded that I went 6.4 miles, around 11,000 steps, and that I had walked 1.64 miles and run almost five miles. My $250 Microsoft band recorded that I had 11,000 steps and that I had gone a total of 7.08 miles for the whole day. Now you'll see on the Microsoft band that big spike at noon where I had gone on my five mile jog that the Mi band recorded as 4.75 and then I had about two miles worth of walking the rest of the day. So the Mi band was pretty much spot on. Sleep tracking on the other hand was a little bit disappointing. It was showing that I was getting nine and a half hours of sleep fairly routinely when I was only getting about six to seven hours of sleep. Now the reason it was doing that was because I typically kind of slow down in the evenings and maybe watch an hour or two of television before I go to bed and so it was interpreting that time as sleep time uh, which obviously it wasn't. Now it's worth mentioning that I took this driving. Now here's why that's important. A lot of these cheaper fitness trackers have cheap accelerometers and they can't tell the difference between driving and walking and jogging and so it gives you credit for steps that you didn't actually take. Well, the Mi Band did a pretty good job not tracking steps while driving. Now of course it wasn't perfect but it was on par with Fitbit, Jawbone and any of the other more expensive fitness trackers. 
And oh yeah, it's still waterproof. The previous generation was waterproof, as is this version, so you can wear it in the rain, you can sweat all over it, you can wear it into the pool, into the shower, it will continue to work. So even though this thing only sells for 20 to $30, the build quality is there. This actually feels like a much higher end product, both in terms of how it feels on the wrist and just the quality, the build quality of what you're getting. It's waterproof and it definitely feels like a quality product in the hand. Now again, this is a basic fitness tracker. It only tracks four basic metrics, steps, distance, calories, and sleep. And you can navigate back and forth between all of those different metrics with simple swiping motions and then just tapping on the circle to actually dive in deeper to see different levels of sleep, to see your steps broken up between running and walking and those sorts of things. Now you can also set a vibrating alarm or alert to wake you up in the morning, which is also a nice feature that's included Included typically on higher-end fitness trackers really great to see that they've included it on this one as well you can also set a particular goal whether it be calories or steps and as you approach that goal you'll have one two or three LEDs that will light up when you raise it to your face letting you know how close you've come to your goal now when you do achieve your goal not only will all three LEDs light up the device will vibrate letting you know that you've reached your goal so for a price point of only $20 to $30, the Mi Band really does offer a lot. Now, I don't feel that the optical heart rate monitor really added any sort of significant improvement to the old model, but again, for $20 to $30, you can't complain. It really does offer a lot. Hey guys, my name is Eric, and I'm the Techie Agent. Hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you hit thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll catch you next time.